Hello, my name is Slelinger and welcome back to the channel. Today we're going to be playing some more Football Manager 2020 and our Ipswich Town Let's Play. And, well, in today's episode, really, it's against Norwich City in the league. Potentially our final derby. And, um, so hopefully we can get relegated to beat Norwich here, hopefully. We haven't beaten them yet in this save so it'd be nice to finally get one over Norwich but if you look at the league position we are beginning to slip away from that fourth place but we are qualified for the Euro Cup but I'd like to get a top, another top four finish and you know, we've gone on a weird weird run so since winning the Carabao Cup penalty, starting on way with a 2 1 defeat against Liverpool, where just enough a late goal against Liverpool, unfortunately. That's, that was the issue here. A wonderful start here with Jonas Wind sneaking it in by. But when just in. They scored just before half time, and when after that, Liverpool were just in command of the game. It took a deflection on its way in, which led it straight to Manet, and they had a penalty in the final minute, and of course, they had to score from it. So, when we continued on, yeah, so that was a bit disappointing, but when we went on to play against RB Salzburg in the Europa League and or Euro Cup, so, uh, Always gonna get that mistake. So, um, so yeah, we so we won. Well, we got a lovely two 0 win at home in the first leg. So that was a very good result for us. I don't know. I don't know what happened there with the goalkeeper, the fence, whatever happened. But we got lucky, and when. Being an easy defender, just slotting it in to the corner. So we got a lovely 2 0 win there. I went fuller in there. We got a lovely 3 1 win at home against Leicester City. And yeah, since uh, Hagman's been out injured, who's now finally back in the team, our Danish strikers have been doing pretty well. Darami and Wind have been doing pretty well for us up front. There's a lovely goal there from Wind. Their goalkeeper was so tough that game to beat. And once again, this is weird. It's a weird floating cross on which Vincent Young was left in no man's land. But of course, when we got a lovely counter here, just to settle the game, I went to win 3 1 with a lovely result there. We're moving on away against. In the second leg, and we got a 3-2 uh, victory here. We managed to score all our goals in the first half. They scored their first goal in the first half as well. And when I honestly thought they were going to make a small comeback, but we managed to hold on to win 3-2. We're in 5-2, sorry, on Agarant. So there's a lovely header goal, or two lovely header goals, and who got the final goal? It was Andre Dossel with a thunderous hit. Unfortunately, the goalkeeper could not stop it. And when they get a goal just before half time, it makes you wonder: Are they going to get the comeback? Oh, well, a lovely finish there from their player. I honestly thought Salzburg will go make the comeback, but we just hold on as much as we could. And when we got a 0 0 draw against Burnley, a oh, very disappointing game. And when we got a 1 1 draw against Arsenal, I won't show the Burnley or the Man City games because we got, well, there was no goals. And um, so they get. It's been an air post. Henderson needs to do better there. Our defence as a whole needs to do better. And when a defender mistake led to Hangland 
score on his first goal since coming back from injury. And when, as I said before, we got the nil draw away to Man City. And when we got a 2-1 victory away against um, Lazio in the first round of the second knockout or third, third knockout, it was just quarter of semi-finals, I can't remember. We started off with Fojo again, a lovely header goal there. And and with Andre Dosso getting enough a goal in European football, he does love scoring goals in Europe. And when we got a silly red card and when Lazio did make a comeback on which they were able to score from that so it does make the second leg a bit tasty, but we do have the two away goals, which could play a very big part in the draw, where it's the Euro Cup final. But we are here playing against Norwich, a very big game. We can win here, we can go with a one point off United. But if we lose here, I feel like fourth place is just out of reach. So let's just dive in and hopefully we can get a result here. Come on, get aggressive. We hit, so I said before, we haven't beaten an arch that this whole tight Ipswich Town let's play. So let's let's get a win. Let's get our win. We need a win. We need the three points here. It's nice to say a draw could work, but when if man you know win their game in hand, they go six points clear, so we need to win here. Oh there we go, and Haglund out of the blue gets us the goal. Twenty seconds in and Haglund scores already. The perfect start. Oh it'd be feel nice if we could thrash Norwich here. We can absolutely Muller them. Back to Hassan. Oh. They could have got an equalizer straight away there. Still no child on the ball. Until man clits it. Back to Wood. And it's Brooks. Come on. What this what a perfect start. What a perfect start. This is the start which we needed. Come in here with flying colours. Oh he missed out on the line. That could have been number three. What can the lad do here? Oh, I think he could have done, got enough of a goal there, really. He could have scored. The way how we're playing it now is some lovely football. Oh, when didn't he go? Is that a corner? Yes, it is. Oh, cleared out away from Norwich. Looks like Norwich are now on the counter attack here. Oh, Brooks, well done, mate. Well done, good challenge. Lovely tackle. Oh, a cheeky little toe punt there. But it's Andre Dorsell. Whoops it in. That's Andre Dorsell. To Woods. To 
Tillman whoops it in to Brooks. And on the outside of the post. But we have looked very good this first half. Oh, until we need it. I thought we were about to concede there, but we're going to go more attacking. I thought like we've, we've got that in us this game. To be a little bit more daring. That's Tillman, whoops it back into wind. And they save it. Make it too easy for this keeper. So we're going to have any more highlights before the end of the first half, but it looks like we may have one more chance here at Ojo. A bit of defender. What can he do here? Whoops it in to Brooks. Back to win to Brooks. And a great save there from the keeper. It's to let who whoops it in. Oh, and off the crossbar there from Fit to Wamiyama. What can Agland do out there? Out wide. Andre Dossilo takes the shot and. Yeah, it's pretty poor actually, but our front four have been fantastic. And when we do a silly mistake like that, come on, Woods, make the. Um, I feel like I've got to get this Kaffa there. That's not what to win me on this fault. Just because nobody else could be buffed the track back, that was the issue. There we go. Get our two gold lead there back. Good. Oh, it's not, it wasn't. We're not going to get enough of go, are we? We are Hagland's there again. 4-1 before half-time. Who could have predicted that? And once again, wind. Getting enough of assist. Is that two or three assists? He's already got this game. Oh, we'll just, we just get our fifth, shall we? <laughs> get our fifth before half time. We might as well. It's... This is what I call a great performance. Look at those stats for our. Well, just for our front four strikers, really. Just keep it up. Just keep it up. Demand more. Oh, good tackle there from Andre Dossel. Wind has been everywhere. Oh, could have got our sixth. I mean, it does make me wonder, do I begin resting players for the last year, or do I just keep, keep this team going? A bit of me wants me to just keep this team going. And I oh, thought Andre Dossel, beautiful. Out to Wind, what can Wind do here? Oh, could have got his hat trick. We're on two people here who could get a hat trick, Ojo and Hagland. Only one of them now can, with a lower leg injury. Oh no, that does not look good. They injured him on purpose, that's Norwich City for you. Always Sindra and the upper team's best player. Oh, 
Hopefully it's just a cut and nothing else. Oh, I could have got his hat trick. I want uh, you know, to get his hat trick. Or I want us to score more goals. Because having him getting injured again, that's kind of disappointing me. And Andre Dorsal should have got the ball there. Great track and back there from Andre. Kind of poor, really. Let's just change our back to be an attacker. Just because fit to Mami and then we'll be playing in the next game. Oh. Okay, well, sorry about that, missing our sixth goal. I should have paused it. Oh, I do apologise, but we've got another goal. I was just looking at changes to do, and then I didn't. I thought I pressed pause. I do apologise, but a lovely finish there. We're getting redemption. Let's just bring on the subs. Let's now go back to being very attacker. I wonder if that creates our goal difference against Norwich. Hmm. Oh, we have a lucky deflection there for the Norwich City. It's Cash who hits the post. The ball goes out. One more minute left. It's Vincent Young here. Out to Ojo. To Tillman. Oh, I'm just. Just a bit too much for wind. Okay, you can do a slide tackle to kick it off. But it's like we're going to get a lovely, there it is, a fantastic, a fantastic 6 1 victory over Norwich City. Our first victory against Norwich City as well. So, yeah. It feels a lot more better. What does that look do for the past meetings? It's going to be still minus four, but yeah, that goal difference or those goals <laughs> have made a big difference in how long. Three weeks, not too bad. It's going to leave them to the physio. We, yeah, just a very, very good performance. Probably our best performance of the season, if I have to admit. And. That brings us to our next game, which will probably be against Manchester United. A, a very big game against United as well, so definitely if we can beat that game. If we can beat that game, beat United. That's what I meant to say. When Alfredo Hammer is suspended, but it's like Haglin will be back as well for that game. So that's a big, a big plus for us, and yeah, just be, yeah, before I begin rambling on about everything. But, yes, yeah, so sir, if you enjoyed this episode, make sure to leave a like. Any comments will be appreciated. And if you're new around here and like the content which I make, well, make sure to subscribe to get more daily content. And until the United game, see you later.